How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the Season Pass that's coming to the Master Chief Collection. Right now we're in flight number 3 on PC for Halo Reach. And in this flight is the first time they get a chance to implement the Season Pass that's going to be coming to the game. Now I will remind you that the Season Pass doesn't actually cost anything. It's completely free. It's just a different way to have your unlocks for er, Halo Reach. There are no credits. There's just a different way to go through the ranking, the unlocking system in this game so what i want to do is kind of show you how the whole thing works because it's a little bit of a process a little complicated and so hopefully this video will kind of clear up with the other things i'll let you know this is again the flight three so this is all preliminary kind of stuff this isn't going to be in the final build probably when it comes to certain kind of points or what things you unlock and things in between let's get right into it so here we have the campaigns multiplayer firefight career and options and also just quit the desktop obviously we're not quitting so we're going to go to options and career here and then you see season one right here and you can click on that and you can see currently i have two season points as i have played a few games i'm, I'm kind of like a recruit or something like that i can't remember what exactly what the level is um sorry my logo is kind of covering it up but basically i've played a few matches and so you can see these different dots right here these are different progression points throughout the season i have season points and the way the season points work as you can see, probably just by judging by this, that each box costs one season point. Currently, I could unlock this one and this one, but I can't unlock this just second one just yet until I get enough XP or I have played enough games where I can have this available for me to unlock, if that makes sense. Right now, and each box right here has actually its own customization right here. Uh, right now, in the MCC uh, Halo Reach Firefight, uh, three for PC, you can only unlock helmets. Um, like for this first block, we can get the Has Op helmet, the CQC helmet, and the CQB helmet. Uh, the next section over, or tier two, would be the police helmet, and then tier three, the recon helmet, and so on and so on. Uh, that, that's just the only thing you can unlock right now in the fire. Uh, sorry, in the flight three uh, once the full game get releases that they will change this up and you will be able to unlock various other items uh, i saw examples on halo waypoint of them just unlocking entire armor sets at once so keep that in mind uh we have another like a firefight voice right here uh we have different we have a different uh elite armor set for the spec ops armor set for elites you can unlock here and just again like continue on with the different kind of helmets so let's select the one that i can do right now like that unlock season tier season one tier one rewards these are the helmets right here the base versions of these helmets so let's unlock it cool now i unlock that that means i can go over to the next one right here and then i can unlock this one and then unlock that simple as that now if i wanted to unlock this one i needed to make it get another season point to grind up to way here so let's go back to our customization options here and since we only have unlocked helmets, we'll select helmet. And one thing I love about this flight is the Unreal 4 rendering of your Spartan looks so good. I mean, just so good. It really looks so good. Uh, so we can check out our CQC helmet here. As you can see, we can now pick up the base version and have that selected. Uh, you can hover over, you can see the different variants that it does have as well. Uh, we don't have that unlocked available right now. If the Hazop helmet, I can also select as well, as long as it's different variants. Now you probably look at the helmets and goes, well, what about my haunted helmet? Well, it's in here. So we just kind of scroll down to the correct helmet. Okay, so if you want to see what the haunted helmet looks like in here, guys, which I'm sure you all do, you go under to the, I believe this is the pilot variants right here. We can't now, I would like in the UI to have a chance to kind of preview what the helmet looks like before clicking on it because uh, when you click on it you can check out the variants in here but once you go back out it takes you very back to the top of the menu not very user friendly when you're trying to like cycle through like wait what did I, did I already see this one you know uh so that's a little annoying there but uh so we can so we get the, the base version of the pilot helmet which looks pretty nice actually yeah that's the uh another version a different version and then the haunted version oh my god he's dead yeah, Andy, what did you do? You killed him! Yeah, a little bit red versus blue reference right there, but yeah. And so, there's a different kind of things you can unlock while playing. Now, again, like say, 
I would like to see in the UI of this, like showing only how much I have unlocked as an option that's like maybe gray out the other options, but still having a chance to kind of check them out like I can right here. But obviously I can't equip this right now. Well, actually I can equip this one, but I think I'm gonna quick keep this helmet for now. Let's say like for like the uh, Grenadier, I can check out the different variations now, but I can't select it because I haven't unlocked it yet during the seasons uh, for the different rank ups right there. Now, also another cool thing I have to show you guys are the armor effects. For some reason, they look way cooler on PC than they do on uh, regular Reach. For some reason, they look a little more expansive, if you will. I uh, got the Grunt Birthday Party, classic. Who doesn't love blowing up and blowing up in an explosion of confetti every time you die, right? Right. Uh, the Heart Attack one. Now, I remember grinding my heart out to get the heart attack armor effect. I thought it was hilarious. You just walk around like the little heart cat flutters right out. No problem right there. I <laughs> uh, got the pestilence, as we all remember. Now you can look like you. Now you can look like a true halo sweat and not shower for like a week, and that's what you would look like right there. Uh, you got inclement weather, which looks way more badass on this version than back in the 360 days. I don't. I'm not sure if that's just like they changed it a little bit or something, but. I don't remember in, um, inclement weather looking this awesome. So this might actually be the one I would want to go with because look how much lightning that goes goes around you. It looks sick. <laughs> and they get the uh, legendary flame for all your Halo Three fans, and they get the eternal flame, which I believe blue flame was only for Bungie employees back in the day, and maybe also notable people within the community kind of thing. Um, and if you also want to check it out, you get the elite armor sets here while we're at it. Yeah, like this is the uh, elite armor set that you can unlock in the season pass for uh, Halo Reach right now for the Flight 3. Obviously, you'll be able to unlock the rest of them as you go on. One armor set for the elites I really liked was the Zealot. Looks pretty good. Kind of reminds me of uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary, but the one I really like right here, the General, looks like a, you look like a brute basically, and then you have like these orangey yellow flames inside your armor or whatever. It looks so cool. Then you got the field marshal, looks pretty awesome as well. And then the officer, which is pretty standard, but also pretty damn badass. And also you got the same colors you had previously, I believe. These were the same colors, if I remember correctly, from Halo Reach. But I kind of digress. That's kind of how the season pass works in um, Halo Reach. In a nutshell, obviously, once the full, like I mentioned, when the full game releases, these unlocks will be very different. What you unlock is at a different time as well. Now, there was a rumor that the GRD armor variants were going to be in, added into Reach as they are in the game files, but the game, it was never released. Now, uh, 343 has not stated that they're going to put the game, put the, put that armor set in the game. Um, they mentioned in the Halo Waypoint post that they are trying to, they plan to put all released armor sets into Halo Reach. And that doesn't sound like GRD right there. And I looked through all the helmets. The GRD is a very distinct helmet right here, and obviously I looked through all the um, names right here. No GRD to be found. I looked through all the helmets. There is no GRD variant uh, with a different name or anything like that. So I don't expect that armor set to be added into Halo Reach. Maybe the full retail. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so there is that, guys. To keep in mind when it comes to getting a chance to unlock your awesome armor sets right here, we gotta check out Recon. Because you remember, remember everyone, you got recon. That was they actually put that on the package. Remember that you get recon for buying the game. <laughs> Not like in Halo Three, where you had to be very lucky or no, have your very fortunate person to be working at Bungie right there, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I just love these renders in the Unreal Four. They look so good. And since I turned on the enhanced um, uh, at graphics right there, because the graphics settings, all you do is performance. No original and enhanced. Uh, I'm guessing it's just kind of as a resolution texture. Like they don't really look that washed out at all. They look a little flat, but that means this game was way back in 2010, so give them a little slack there. But seeing these armor renders at 1080p in Unreal 4 looks absolutely amazing. Anyways, guys, that's kind of how the general unlocks and the season pass works in Halo Reach for the Flight 3, so you get a basic idea of how this whole thing works. 
you guys like these kind of uh tutorial videos please make sure to tap that like button as well as when you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are in the video as well if you want me to make more like videos like this I certainly will let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys are new to the channel and want to stay up to every stay up to date with everything going on in halo especially flight 3 or we're kind of talking about reach coming to the mcc or mc the pc halo infinite halo 5 mcc in general everything in between a lot of halo stuff happens here guys uh make sure you tap the subscribe button and if you're new to the channel or missing any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out